I cannot promise you a life of sunshine. I cannot promise riches, wealth or gold. I cannot promise you an easy pathway that leads away from change or growing old. But I can promise all my heart's devotion, a smile to chase away your tears of sorrow, a love that's ever true and ever growing, a hand to hold in yours through each tomorrow. I call upon these persons here present, these persons here present the witness that I, the witness that I Jamie Lee Jones, do take thee, Lori Danielle Phillips, to be my lawful wedded wife. Today, you will exchange vows of marriage, which will unite you as husband and wife. Marriage in this country is the union of two people voluntarily entered into for life to the exclusion of all others. Ma priodi heddi yn cadarn hard o'r cariad parch a chyfeich garwch sydd gennych ti ag ati eich gilydd. Heddi, dyw ffrindiau yn teulu ac mae'r adden ego yma'n ymbrwyniad am oes ac yn rhoi cyfle i'ch ffrindiau a'ch teulu i ddod at ei gilydd mewn datriad o'r llywenydd. Mae hedyn diwrnod y byddan nhw'n eu cofio am gweddill ei oes ac ydych chi eu teulu a'u ffrindiau yma i rannu yn y dathlu. Y dymuno'n dda ac i wneud hedyn diwrnod hapus a chofiadwy. Trwy eich presenoldeb, rydych yn mynegu eich cyfnogaeth tuag at y briodas yma. Getting married today is a proud confirmation of the love, the respect and the true friendship that you have for each other. Today, promises become permanent and friends become family. Together, you will be stronger to meet whatever life holds for you. These vows are a promise of a lifelong commitment, giving your families and friends the opportunity to meet together in celebration of your happiness. On the couple's behalf, I'd like to thank you all for being here on this day a special day. Persons here present. These persons here present. To witness that I. To witness that I. Lori Danielle Phillips. Lori Danielle Phillips. To be my lawful. Uh, oh, sorry. To <laughs> take the. To take the. Jamie Lee Jones. Jamie Lee Jones. To be my lawful wedded husband. To be my lawful wedded husband. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a token of my love. As a token of my love. And as a symbol of our marriage. And as a symbol of our marriage. From this day forward. From this day forward. No matter what life holds for us. No matter what life holds for us. You will have my support and respect. You will have my su uh, support. support and respect. I promise to love you. I promise to love you. And be there for you always. And be there for you always. There we are. Slide the ring on. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a token of my love. As a token of my love. 
and as a symbol of our marriage and as a symbol of our marriage from this day forward from this day forward no matter what life holds for us no matter what life holds for us you will have my support and respect you will have my support and respect i promise to love you i'll promise to love you and be there for you always and be there for you always so yeah, like it made a solemn and binding contract with each other in the presence of your witnesses, family and friends. It therefore gives me the greatest honour and privilege to announce that you are now husband and wife. Congratulations. <laughs> Glasses aren't mine, right? So. <laughs> right? so I was going to start off saying welcome, ladies and gentlemen, friends and family, uh, and, and everyone. And uh, obviously, on behalf of my wife and I, which uh, gets a compulsory applause at that stage. Uh, <laughs> Good evening. For those that you don't know me, well, well Jamie's pretty much introduced me, but I'm Ryan. Um, go from Jamie's from our time in the Air Force. Those that you still want to understand me, which may be the majority of you, um, just, just bear with me, like. A little deal we'll make between ourselves. I'll speak as slow and as uh, enunciate me words as best as possible. You just laugh at my shit jokes and it'll go, it'll go down and see, like. For, for those of you who don't know me, I'm Kieran, and Jamie has finally admitted that I am, in fact, the best man. Firstly, I would like to thank you all for attending Danielle and Jamie's wedding and making their day so special. Also, a special mention to the absent loved ones that are not here today. First things first, uh, please forgive me if I miss out on anyone because I only wrote the speech this morning because I've been so busy dealing with this wedding, you wouldn't believe, okay? Okay, but, um, wait. Right. When Jamie asked me to be uh, usher, obviously over the moon. Um, very, very proud moments of mine. Um, but when he asked me, there was no mention of this fucking speech. Um, <laughs> sprung that on me when I was pissed at the stag too, but yeah. Uh... Now my job here today is to write a wonderful roast, toast, speech. To, uh, speech, I'm meant to write a speech. 
Uh, but I, uh, I'd like to apologise in advance for ruining, ruining the evening. Danielle, you look extremely beautiful today. As you always do. I think you should, you, you, would, you would all agree. A big, thank you. So I want to get up to the parents and obviously uh, Jane and Ian, you know, first things first, thank you very much um, for, you know, your, uh, you know, not only the financial contribution, but uh, more so the, the emotional and the organisation of things. And, uh, and obviously Ian's done a great job in getting the bridesmaids dress, an absolutely outstanding uh, kind of, uh, you know, fashion sense there. Okay, uh, let's have a look. Great, and, and, and you know, so thank you for that, and, and a genuine thank you as well. You know, obviously it's a formality to say that, but I do, I do mean it. And obviously my mother, on to you now, mum. Okay, um, you know, growing up, you know, just a single parent, and and she's done outstanding. You know, she had, a, she was up against it when she had me. Uh, not, you know, never an easy task with, uh, you know, any child, but given it was me, it certainly added to the to the challenge, okay? So I want to say thank you for that and, uh, and, and everything that goes with that, okay? Um, over 10 years ago, we met when we were um, on our trade training. Basic course, it was sometime around the start of the course. We started gassing away, getting on really well, and um, I thinking, this, this, this is a decent kid, this. Uh, and then he turned around to me and went, I thought you were Polish when we <laughs> Before we started talking, I thought you were Polish, like, it took me aback and I was like, all right, so, so, so why was that like? Well, before we started speaking, you just seemed a bit quiet and uh, you just looked Polish. Like. <laughs> uh, everyone looks amazing today. Um, I've lost my spot, one second. Yeah, all the bridesmaids, uh, the maid of honour, Caitlin, look, look amazing, Danielle. You're nothing short of breath, breath, breath taken today. Um, Jamie must be very proud. Um, Jamie must be honestly, honestly punching. And um, Linda, you did your best. <laughs> and a big thank you to the bridesmaids. Caitlin, Karis, Katie and Gemma for all the support you have given Danielle. With the lead up to the wedding and for organising two hen parties. You've all scrubbed up well. No, you all look beautiful also. <laughs> Good. Cool, right. Uh, and obviously, you know, for the bride, you know, for the ashes and, and the best man, you know, and, and all these kind of things, you know. I was undecided really on whether I should kind of like take it into a, a bit of a slating really and make it more of a, you know, uh, a best man speech in that sense but for, for the sake of uh, they're going after me I'm just going to say thank you and hopefully it'll go a, a little bit easier on me, okay? So thank you guys and, uh, you know, particularly guys, you know, a lot of effort's gone into, to, uh, you know, obviously we've got Nathan, Ryan and yourself, you know, the kind of, you know, particularly Ryan's come from Liverpool today. Uh, um, and logistically, a lot of things went into that, and you know, and uh, so thank you for that, you know. And Nathan's done a lot of things uh, behind the scenes, so I appreciate, you know, all those kind of the small touches, you know, that you've done. Thank you. Um, thank you, Bob. <laughs> thank you for. For the great day, even. Shavers were great. The wedding was fantastic. You look absolutely beautiful. Venue and even down to your bridesmaids, she would like to personally spank that tank. <laughs> uh, well, no, no, thank, thank for all you've done. Obviously, you've made the day a, a, a lot better for Daniel, a lot easier, and things have flowed quite smoothly. I am ridden this way. <laughs> right, and how gorgeous do our grandchildren look? Body, bow. And Lacey. <laughs> Jamie, I would like to officially welcome you to the family. <laughs> 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 
There's something else I want to put in here, but I can't remember. <laughs> And, uh, and Jared, I, uh, a special mention goes to Jared because uh, anytime something goes wrong in the house, Jared's a man who's uh, on the scene with uh, all the skills and, and he's obviously a great guy. Um, everyone loves Jared because he's the kind and happy nature he is. So Jared, where about you now? But there we go. So, uh, so thank you, right, mate. Honestly, that's a genuine thank you as well, okay? All jokes aside, you're both wonderful parents to Lacey, Eva, and you both look, look out for each other. And we wish you all the best for the future. And can we all be upstanding, please, to, for the bride and groom. Bride and groom. Cheers. Uh, shortly after Jamie joined the RAF, we kept in touch uh, all the time he was away. Phone calls and even playing PS4 when we had the chance. And I remember thinking to myself, those firefighters really are a bit rough. Do you remember playing PlayStation all the time? Yeah, I was going to touch on uh, Jamie's MMA um, and mention that he's spent all these years in training uh, to become a great fighter. And now that he's married, he's never going to win another fight in his house again. So if you would be so kind to stand up and raise your glass with myself and my wife and take a whole... Uh, and a drink to jujitsu. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> well, uh, Ryan, it's uh, on you now to follow that. <laughs> no chance. <laughs> but I'd, I'd like to end it there, guys, because I'm uh, muddling my words up a little bit. But I'd like to, uh, you know, do a toast and say thank you very much and how proud I am to call you a friend. Uh, so if you could all be upstanding one last time, guys, and raise a glass for Mr. and Mrs. Jones. But Jamie's one of my closest friends, as I say. We've been through the hemp ten over ten years on Jamie. And uh, to see him now that he's met someone that he loves, respects as much as yourself and especially as much as he uh, adores Lacey. And, uh, I'm over the moon for you and I couldn't be happier. And I only wish you a lifetime of happiness. So I'd like to raise a glass to the bride and groom. Tim Kiski. <laughs> I've been trying to call I've been on my own for long enough Maybe you can show me how to love Maybe Going through withdrawals You don't even have to do too much You can turn me on with just a touch Baby Since it is cold and empty No one's around to judge me I can't see clearly when you're gone, gone, gone I said, ooh I'm blinded by the lights No, I can't sleep until I feel your touch I said, ooh I'm drowning in the night Oh, when I'm like this, you're the one I trust Light up the sky I hit the road in overdrive Baby Oh, the city's cold and empty No one's around to 
to judge me I can't see clearly when you're gone, gone, gone I said, ooh, I'm blinded by the lights No, I can't sleep until I feel your touch I said, ooh, I'm drowning in the night Oh, when I'm like this, you're the one I trust I'm just walking by to let you know I can never say it on the phone I will never let you go this time I said, ooh, I'm blinded by the lights No, I can't sleep until I feel your I can't say